Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're making pan seared peppered bluefin tuna. This is sushi grade bluefin tuna. You can make this with ahi tuna, you can make it with yellowfin tuna, whatever you want. But this is sushi grade bluefin tuna. So what you're going to need is a piece of bluefin tuna. You're going to need black pepper and sesame seeds. We're going to grind ours fresh. So fresh ground black pepper and we're going to add some untoasted sesame seeds because we're basically going to toast them as we sear. So we're just going to sprinkle these on here and kind of kind of just mix these together a little bit. And if you shake the plate, it kind of evens everything out. Now we're going to take a little bit of olive oil right on top of our tuna and we kind of want to just mix this around just to get it moist so that the pepper and the sesame seeds stick to it. And we're going to pepper all sides of this. And there we go. Nicely peppered bluefin tuna. So we have a pan with a little olive oil. We're going to get that in there and sear this. All right, our pan is nice and warm. 10 to 30 seconds aside here at Sizzlin. We want to make sure this is nice and hot so we get a nice sear on each side. And we're just going to rotate this all the way around. See right on top here how we just we just basically want to sear on there. All four edges are done now, so we're gonna lay this down. And that's about 20, 25 seconds. We're gonna flip it over. Alright, and that is all right there. Let's get this over the cutting board. We are gonna let this cool just for a minute. Okay, so we've let this rest about a minute. We have a very sharp knife here, and you want to make sure you saw, don't just press, because this will shred just like regular tuna fish in a can. You don't want that. So you want to shred. Look at that. Look at how nice that looks inside. And this is sushi grade. I know it, it looks raw, but sushi grade you do eat it raw maybe this knife isn't quite as sharp as i thought it was nicely done we're going to go ahead and plate this and make it look nice so i'm going to leave it the way it's cut here and we're just going to fan it out a little bit all righty so after taking a look at this gorgeous plate what i am going to do is take one slice down the middle here and cut these into a little more bite-sized pieces and the last thing to do is taste this. So look at that nice pink. And I'm using eel sauce. This is one of my favorites with this dish, but you could use dumpling sauce, soy sauce, your favorite sauce. I like the eel sauce because it's a little bit of sweet. So just a little dunk in the eel sauce. Wow, that's tasty right there. All right, so this is a tasty appetizer right here. Really easy to make. Really only takes about five minutes after you got the tuna thawed to room temperature. Appetizing, tastes delicious. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click that thumbs up, like my video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for stopping. We'll see you next time.